Hi, it's Dennis Daly. A couple of years ago, I put together a one-man, one-hour comedy album and shared it with my friends. Ten or twelve people have heard it. So I thought I'd put it here for you on YouTube. So here is the third and final part. Celebrating the Heritage of America. Hi everybody, I'm Dennis Daly, and greetings from the entire Shrevikman Radio Network family on this very historic day in the life of America. We come to you today from the Accidental Perpetual Universal Life and Casualty Coliseum, more specifically from the Millard Fillmore Auditorium, where in just a few minutes, the noted orator Dr. Fletcher Lech will be delivering his very own variations on Aaron Copeland's Lincoln portrait. It has been a big day today honoring Abraham Lincoln. Earlier today, there was a huge parade, and our Bob Whitmore was there. It is a cold and blustery day here, but that has not stopped thousands of people who come here to witness the parade to honor not only Abraham Lincoln, but to honor Dr. Fletcher Lynch, who's come here from Idaho to address the group today. And it's interesting, some of the people I talked to said they were more anxious to see Dr. Lynch's wife then Dr. Lett, she, of course, was riding with him in the open-topped car. This is Bob Whitmore. And I'm Stuart Fenman, and an hour has elapsed since Bob filed that report. The bands are gone, the parade is over, there are several hundred people outside here. And as you can hear, they have piped the sound from the auditorium outside for us because too many people were here, we couldn't get in. And uh, it was a mistake. We underestimated the amount of people here. We should have used the entire Coliseum, not just the Millard Fillmore Auditorium. So let's go back inside where Dennis Daly is standing by. Dennis? Stu, thank you very much. There is an overflow crowd here. And in just a minute, we will be hearing the uh, address by Dr. Fletcher Lech, his own variation, if you will, on Aaron Copeland's Lincoln portrait. Dr. Lech is a psychologist. He has been well known in Idaho politics for many years. He's the co-founder of the Open Up program, which invites junior high school girls into its members' houses weekday afternoons to look at copies of National Geographic and talk about world psychology and coming of age. Uh, Bob mentioned uh, Dr. Lech's wife, Lucretia. She is the author of 25 books on marriage, and her latest one has become a national bestseller. It's called I Married a Genius. In the background, you can probably hear Mrs. Abigail Uppingberth. She is the chairwoman of the Daughters of the American Heritage, and I want to thank her group for not only its continuing sponsorship of Shrevikman programs, but also they surprised all of us in the press corps today uh, by giving each of us their own special creation. Apparently, Mrs. Uppingberth, just for this broadcast today, has come up with a great all-American food, kind of a combination of great American flavors. It's a pie that combines apple and pumpkin, so we'd like to thank her for that. I see that she's now wrapping up her 20-minute introduction. Let's go down now to the podium and variations on Lincoln Portrait by Aaron Copeland is delivered by Dr. Fletcher Lech and the Letcher Brass Ensemble. Over the years, Dr. Fletcher Lech! From the Shrevik News, this big alert bulletin. This is Dick Dillman in the Shrevik News Center in Camden, New Jersey. A major wire service is reporting that a 747 loaded with nuns, pilgrims returning from an audience with the Pope, has crashed in South Africa. On the line from Johannesburg, we have Sky Chamberman, who is a member of the Stringer News Syndicate. Sky, what can you tell us? I'm afraid there is not very much to report tonight. The South African government has not issued any official statement about the news report that is being circulated on the wire service. Is there anything on South African official radio? Not that we've heard, but 
we continue to monitor the situation. Thank you, Sky. Let's go to Tim Cloudsbury now, who is also with Stringer Network in Rome. And uh, we ask him if he has heard anything uh, through his contacts at the Vatican. Actually, nothing, Dick. Uh, one source uh, tells me that there's so many nuns visiting the Vatican that it's impossible to issue a statement. But uh, we continue to monitor our sources here. Repeating what we have here at Shreveik, the news of wire services reporting that a 747 jetliner loaded with nuns returning from the Vatican has crashed into a mountain in South Africa. From the Shreveik Medeo Center in Camden, this is Dick Delbert. We now resume the regular program schedule on this Shreveik Big Alert Station. boisterous reception for the variations on the Abraham Lincoln portrait of Aaron Copeland as uh, conceived and narrated by Dr. Fletcher Letch, accompanied by the Letcher Brass Ensemble. And in the middle of that, when he talked about the tragic events at Ford's Theater, there was not a dry eye in the house. I'm Dennis Daly. This broadcast has come to you live from the Accidental Perpetual Universal Life and Casualty Coliseum. This program has been won in a series of Shreveikmans Celebrating America's Heritage Series, funded in part by a grant from the Daughters of the American Heritage. Write us at 213141 Clevman, Camden, New Jersey. This is the Shreveikman Radio Network. Walter Concrete brings the news later today over this Shreveikman Radio Network station. When was the last time you had a cool, rich, creamy, delicious, succulent dish of cottage cheese? Now from Dew Fresh Dairy comes exciting new Consta Curd. Constant curd quality and consistent curd size makes Consta Curd America's most recognizable cottage cheese. Soured on other cottage cheeses, try a package of Consta Curd. Remember our slogan, from big brown eyes and happy moos comes milk and cheese for all of you. Do Fresh Dairies is a division of Confinement Industries. Welcome to the Shreveikman Public Affairs Minute. I'm Dennis Daly. My special guest this week is Mr. Carl Mukoski, and our topic is modern day medicine. Mr. Mukoski is the chairman of the National Nasal Congestion Clearinghouse. Oh, uh, yes, the National. Uh, na- <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the National Nasal Congestion Clearinghouse is a dedicated to help those people who have intense amount of, uh, of nasal congestion. <laughs> Are you okay, Mr. Mukoski? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I have a new product, a new product here with me. <laughs> new product. It's an inhaler. I'd like to explain to the public. <laughs> this uh, new inhaler we have is... Uh, let me get a drag off this thing here. It's a, a rather large container. Does it have any effect on you? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, it's a wonderful product. My goodness, what a difference it makes. Are there any uh, downsides, any uh, side effects to this? Well, not that I know of, except I've been told that it doesn't... <coughs> doesn't last very long. This program has been a public affairs presentation produced by the Public Affairs Department of the Public Affairs Division of the Shreveikman Radio Network, distributed by Ursat Satellite. Are you tired of being treated like a second-class citizen when you book motel reservations? Certainly if you're a businessman on a high-priced expense account or someone wanting to book meeting rooms for a thousand, you're in luck. But walk in in a shabby sweater or with six or seven kids trailing along behind you and they practically close the door in your face. 
Long for the days those cozy little mom and pop motels you see nestled along all the two lane highways before the interstate came through, didn't put an interchange in your part of the country and left them high and dry to the point they've almost boarded up and gone out of business while well, they banded themselves together, spit themselves up, and called themselves out of the way ins. Go a little bit out of your way for us, and boy, will we go out of our way for you. Beds, and we got beds. Meeting rooms, and we got meeting rooms. Remember, out of the way ins when it comes to serving you. We have no reservations. I remember my grandfather telling me stories about how he used to tromp through these woods. The trees were so thick you could walk on top of them from here to Kansas. Then the lumbermen came through and cut them all down. But they're back. The forest is rebuilt. And they're using that lumber to make the new space age toilet paper fiber wipe. Fiber wipe! You can tell it by the texture! Go get them, pillagers! Tired of lugging around a bulky, bothersome bumper chute on the off chance that it just might rain? Now, from Instabrella Industries comes the exciting new Space Age, just the way you like it, done to a turn product of the millennium. New Aerosol Parasol. Aerosol Parasol sprays a thin protective coating on you and everything you love. And unlike conventional umbrellas, it has hundreds of other uses. Vinyl top of the car looking dingy? Spray on a coat of aerosol parasol. Protect precious plants from early fall frost with a coat of aerosol parasol. Aerosol parasol won't harm fine fabrics and washes off with just plain water. Aerosol parasol is available at every other 7-Eleven. From Shreveikman News, this is News Croc. Now reporting from our newsroom in Camden, here is Walter Concrete. Good evening, everyone. A major wire service is reporting the horrific crash of a 747 jetliner into a mountain range in South Africa. The plane, apparently carrying nuns returning home from a trip to Rome, went down in the White Mountains. According to Sky Chamberman of Stringer News, there is no official confirmation, but Gary Webb of the Boise-based Conspiracy Forum says the incident smacks of the downing of Korean Airlines Flight 007 with conservative American Congressman Lawrence McDonald on board. From New York comes word that a highway research group says the more expensive the car or SUV, the less likely the vehicle is to be equipped with turn signals. The group Friends of Fletch reports that it has only found one car, priced at over $60,000, that showed evidence of turn signals in city traffic. At the Commerce Department, it was announced today that the leading economic indicator broke. More news in a moment. Paging Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Paging Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Hi, this is Bob Whitmore down here at County General. You know, the problem with health insurance today is if you do get sick, you spend the better part of a month filling out paperwork, even for the smallest abrasion. Well, it's not that way with HealthMate 2000. With HealthMate 2000, just a simple phone call to our easy-to-remember 800 number, 1-800-801-1800, sets the wheels of motion in progress. Cut a finger? Call HealthMate 2000. Break a limb? Call HealthMate 2000. Lapse into a coma? Uh, have someone you love? Call HealthMate 2000. And remember, with HealthMate 2000, there's no confusing deductibles. All of our plans are 100% deductible. Yes, get the health insurance recommended by sick people. Jump on the Illness Express with HealthMate 2000. Available in selected states. New information is emerging that the Beatles were actually a communist plot. An Idaho-based conservative think tank says it has found evidence that the Fab Four were raised from childhood to be communist plants to pollute the minds of teenagers around the world. 
One of the group, the original drummer Peter Best, was apparently replaced when he refused to undergo shock treatment after realizing he was being duped. And repeating the hour's top story, a major wire service is reporting the crash of a jumbo jet loaded with nuns in South Africa, and there is a late unconfirmed report that ironically actress Sally Field was on board the plane. She, of course, starred in the TV show The Flying Nun. This is Walter Concrete, Shrevigman News. This has been News Croc. Listen for big alert bulletins on this Shrevigman Radio Network station. I'm not sure Bob's going to go for it. All right, call to order, call to order. This meeting of Whitmore Foods will now come to order. 35 minutes late. All right, Stu, I know we're late. We've got a lot to talk about today. We put this meeting off for six months. Uh, this is the meeting in which we're going to decide the name of our new cheese snack here, these little cheesy bastards we've been working on. And uh, I'm going to turn the meeting over now to Dennis Daly. And Dennis, tell us what the design team has come up with to finally name these little cheesy bastards. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Whitmore. We uh, have decided, I guess, largely in deference to you, to officially call our brand new food product Little Cheesy Bastards. Little Cheesy Bastards! No, 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 no. No, like, that's just a joke, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I've just been calling these little cheese wheels, these little pups here, just little cheesy bastards, just to have something to call them. No, no, Bob, that's what we've decided to call them. Here's uh, here's what the box cover is going to look like. Well, that is nice artwork. What does the legal department think about this, Stu? How are you guys going to handle this? Well, Mr. Whitmore, we think that it's going to be a challenge. We, that nobody's ever done this before. And, Mr. Whitmore, I think our packaging looks great. Boy, I've never seen the word bastard in Helvetica Bowl before. It, it really has eye appeal. Well, Bob, the man who really deserves the credit is Herschel Hatsoff. Herschel, uh, Stu, will you help Herschel up here? He uh, he designed the package and also did the artwork for our uh, uh, prospective TV spot. Uh, thank you, Dennis. Good to see you again, Bob. Uh, we worked pretty hard on this cartoon. Let me uh, fire it up here. See what you think. Little TV bastards. Little TV bastards. I like that. It's more fun than the California Ravens. Well, uh, thanks, Bob. Uh, Bill Adams and I threw that together. Thanks, Herschel. Well, okay, Bob, what do you think? What do you think, guys, about little cheesy bastards? Little cheesy bastards! How are you going to sell a ton of that crap? Well, I guess I'm overridden here. Okay, all those in favor... Of calling our new little cheese food, little cheesy bastard, signify by saying I. 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 It's done. All right, now what are we going to call these little chocolate turds? That's it. Thanks for listening. I hope you had as much fun as we all did here at the Shrevigman Radio Network. If you'd like to reach me, the email address is simple. It's newscaster at earthlink.net. Newscaster at earthlink.net. Please put friend in the subject line so I'll know that you're not a can of spam. Until... Okay, one more phone call. Yes? Excuse me, I'm from the Daughters of the Amer... Just send some pies over, okay? My special thanks again to Howard Dykus and a special hello to Bill Wisniewski. I'm Dennis Daly. This is the Shrevikman Radio Network.